All right, this video, first of all, welcome back everyone. This video is not going to be about any kind of a boost. This video is going to be about Neo and three different types of modes available on this game, which we're going to talk about. But first, let me uh, acknowledge my sponsors to whom this video is going to be made possible, shall we? Let me acknowledge them. Okay, let's thank my sponsor here, uh, Damien Tumens. I don't know what kind of name that is, but it's so stupid and ridiculous. Damien Tumens. He wants me to block him, and I replied to him, no problem. As you wish, your wish has been granted, blocked. But for you, I will make a special block. So, without any further ado, let me go ahead and thank him. Uh, I would like to always thank my sponsors. Uh, you know, Damien Tumens, it's one of my favorite sponsors, who likes to leave me a bunch of shit, you know, right here. Can't help himself but just type on the keyboards. Type on the keyboards. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. He can't help himself. He can't help himself. And of course, you know, his uh, brotherhood right here of all these clowns. Uh, like this guy that I blocked, you know, all of them. So, let me go ahead and let me thank him first. Okay, let's click on him. You know, I have to thank my sponsors. You know, what, what kind of... Uh, guy I would be if I didn't thank my sponsors and, and and here let's take a good look at this guy I don't even know if that's his real face hold on let's upscale him here we go yeah uh, wait up ah, yeah Damien Tumens that's it your wish has been granted thank you for making this video possible so let's go ahead and let's block him hold on let's do that ah here we go <gasps> okay so without any further ado let's block him Yes, uh, blocking this user will prevent them from commenting on your videos that you uploaded. Sure, let's do it. Let's click. Okay, so he has been blocked. Let's double check. Yes, he's blocked. There we go. Now let's continue with our video of Neo. All right, so this is Neo. This is the uh, video introduction that they're showing. Uh, it's like a samurai fantasy game. Team Ninja, it's, be it's behind this game. They did Ninja Gaiden, Dead or Alive, you know. So let's talk about a couple of uh, important things here in uh, Neo. And the main reason why I'm doing Neo right now and uh, why I want to talk about this game is because there's something pretty cool about Team Ninja and what they're doing for PlayStation 4 Pro. And I will explain what that is and then I will explain at the end why it's so important that other developers take a look at the Team Ninja example and implement the same thing on their games. All right, so let's continue. Okay, let's adjust the brightness until the two images appear to have the same intensity. All right, they look pretty much the same to me. All right, here's what I was talking about. Okay. A couple of things I will have to clarify. I know that Sony and developers have been talking about native 4K, native 4K on this game. Yes, this game does support native 4K, but it doesn't always stay at the native 4K. It varies. And I will get to that, why that is. This game has three different types of mode. It has the action mode. Now, the action mode is... A mode that plays the game at 60 frames per second steady 60 frames per second and how do I know this well digital foundry already tested it and they know that it stays at 60 frames per second however when you're playing this game in 60 frames per second on action mode 
there's many different types of resolution that varies okay it fluctuates between different resolutions from 1920 by 1080 to 1728 by 972 by 1665 by 940 and it goes down to 1472 to 828 and it even goes down to 1280 to 7020 it fluctuates depending on the, on the scene but however with the action mode you get 60 frames per second that's steady 60 frames per second okay so that's the game mode i mean the action mode remember action mode it's 60 frames per second now we have a movie mode now this is the mode that gives you that native 4k however you are sacrificing on the uh, frame rates as you can see right here it's a 30 uh, frames per second which is not bad for native 4k but here's the kicker the movie mode does give you that 38 40 by 2160 but it doesn't always stay at the 2160p it fluctuates it varies sometimes we drop down from 3840 2160 to 3200 by 1800 and then it would go down to 1440 and in some cases in some uh game uh levels it would drop down to 2304 by 1296 now these these are fluctuation it goes up and down up and down up and down it is native 4k but it fluctuates okay and that's what you get with the game with the movie mode with the movie mode you get that resolution clarity but you're sacrificing on um, frame rate now here's another one it's called the uh, uh, variable frame rate now this is the one that varies this is the one that still uses 4k native 38 40 by 2160 but at 38 to 40 frames per second so you'll be able to play it on this mode with 38 40 by 2160 but it still is going to fluctuate between 3200 to 1800 and then 2560 by 1440 so it fluctuates between 2160 1800 1440 and 1296 goes all the way down to 1296 and it fluctuates but you do get a little bit of uh better frame rates you get 38 to 40 frames per second all right it's already been seven minutes and i'm explaining all of this to you and if you ask me <coughs> how do i know this it's because i took down the notes i written down the notes and here's the notes here I even written down the notes there they are man I wrote down everything so you guys know that I did take down the notes I wrote them down so you know I'm not just talking out of my ass because God forbid I might trigger some you know fanboy out there or just some hater I might trigger some hater well good like Demi and Tummins you know here take a good look at this Demi and Tummins uh, enjoy this uh, who is it that once told me my dead ass channel uh, with almost 10,000 subscribers? Yeah, sure. Let me see you pull 10,000 subscribers within three and a half months. Good luck with that shit. All right. All right, so that's it. I have shown you all these different variables, which I'm going to go through in my next parts, not tonight. What I'm going to do tonight is a uh, movie mode I really want to see how the movie mode is running on a native 4k and then fluctuating from the native 4k to 2160 to 1800 to 1440 and 1296 remember guys I don't have the equipment so I don't I can't tell when it's dropping down to 1800 P and then when it's dropping down to 1440 P this is native 4k let's be clear about that but it fluctuates meaning sometimes we'll drop down to 1440 sometimes we'll drop down to 1296 and then it will drop down to 1800 and go up to 2160 all right so let's start the movie mode do you want to finish configuring the settings proceed yes let's do it all right here we go 
And I can tell you right off the bat, made in 4K, it looks, you know, it looks gorgeous. And let's hope that uh, other developers will look at this and they will implement this feature to every pro patched games. This is what I want to see, guys, from developers. I'm not talking about Sony. I'm talking about developers. This is what I want to see from developers do. Just like uh, Tomb Raider did, giving you three different options. Okay, we're going to start the new game. This video is going to be about 21 minutes. I had to spend 10 minutes to explain the different variations of the options that this game has. To the far east lies Zimpangu, a land brimming with golden palaces and sparkling jewels. Kublai Khan, ruler of the Mongol, ooh, Mongol Empire, I like this already, sent a large army there, cool, I couldn't finish the whole thing. That looks nice. Amrita. Amrita. It looks like some kind of like uh, power, energy. Some call it the Miraculous Stone. The Philosopher's Stone. It's like I heard that somewhere. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to skip through this because, uh, remember, we are here to test the, uh, the game, uh, the, the movie mode in native 4K, so I'm gonna skip through this. Alright, here we are, the game is being loaded, it's loading right now, we're starting off in some kind of, like, prison. Alright, it's a 12 minute mark. Remember, this is a movie mode. This is a movie mode right now that we're doing. And looks fantastic. Obviously, my camera's not doing justice, but believe me, guys, uh, you definitely notice the benefit of native uh, 4K here. Definitely shines here. By the way, I'll be doing a For Honor uh, beta pretty soon. Wow, this looks magnificent, man, in native 4K. But remember, it does fluctuate. Uh, that's what Digital Foundry says. And all the fluctuations are not that bad. They're like 1800p, 1440p, and 1296p. But it usually stays at the 2160p, 30 frames per second. Okay, I gotta figure out the way to open this. <laughs> escape to Tower of London. Okay, so we are in London. Okay, how are we gonna escape this? Attacks, all right. Tutorials, I got you. You know, he does look like the the Witcher, dude. Seriously, he does look like a Witcher to me. All right, I'm gonna pause the game here. I need to figure this out how to uh, get out of here. Just give me one sec. All right, so here we figured that out. It's it, there's a little opening here. Let's open it. Okay, so we got some uh, extra power here. That's not fair, dude. I'm naked, man. You, you got like, you got a sword. Here, let me take a sword. Fuck. 
Finish him. Finish that fool. Oh my god, he killed me. Son of a bitch. Alright, so the Witcher. The Witcher got himself some new boots and got himself a sword. So, let's see what we can do now. Let's see how badly we can damage this asshole. Let's do it. Come here. Come here. Come here. That's right. Your history. There we go. Let me pick up the sword. Nice. And I got the dungeon key too. You see, you can come here and then you can check different options that you have. You can change the sword, the one you want. Whatever one you want. See, I got another melee weapon too. Which I'm 